Hi everyone! Welcome back sa aking channel. Ako pong muli si Concru TV. At sa video nyo ito, ayan, ating pag-aaralan ngayon ang multiplication of fractions or multiplication of uh, mixed numbers. Okay? So, uh, before ko simulan ang lesson na to, kailangan una marunong kayo mag-multiply, syempre. Pangalawa, dapat marunong din kayo mag-divide. Okay? At pangatlo, dapat marunong din kayong um, ano ba to? magsulat ng or papano isulat ang fractions sa simplest form. Okay, so simulan na natin. Alright, for number 1, meron tayong 5 and 1 fourth times 1 uh, fourth. So, the first step, kung mixed number or mixed fractions yung question, kailangan i-convert muna natin sa improper fraction. Okay, so by multiplying the denominator to uh, what call this? The whole number. Okay, so 4 times 5, yan, mag-multiply tayo ha. 4 times 5 ay 20. Tapos pagdating dyan, kailangan addition naman. Okay. 4 times 5, 20, plus 1, meron tayong 21. And then, kopyahin lang natin yung denominator. Times, kopyahin mo yung multiplier. Oops. Times 1, 4. Okay, next. So, ang pag-multiply natin, numerator to numerator, denominator to denominator. So, 21 times 1 ay 21. At 4 times 4 ay 16. Okay. So, ngayon, i-apply natin yung knowledge natin sa pag-divide. So, kailangan marunong kayo mag-divide. So, 21 divided by 16. Siyempre, meron tayong isa. 1. Tapos 16. 1 divided by 16 is 16. Or 1 times 16 is 16. Sorry. And then, so do the subtraction. So, 11 minus 6 is 5. So, ito yung ating whole number. So, ang ating final answer, dito ko na lang susulat. Okay, 1. At ito ang ating numerator. Okay, 5. And then, yung denominator natin. 16. Okay. So, ang final answer, 1 and 5 over 16. Next. 3 and 3 fifth times 2 fourth. Ngayon, uh, itong 2 fourth na to, kung mapapansin natin, pwede natin siyang i-gawin muna ng simplest form para hindi na tayo dumaan sa mga ma malalaking numbers. Kung possible na i-divide or gawing simplest form yung question, gawin na natin. Okay? Kasi pag hindi natin ginawa yan, mamaya ang laki-laki ng number, may hirapan tayo. Okay. So, isulat mo natin ha. Okay. I-rewrite ko lang. Times. So, divided by 2, meron tayong 1. 4 divided by 2 ay 2. So, times 1 half. So, mas madali na yan. And so, 3 times 5, 15. So, mag a ulit tayo. Plus 3. Meron tayong 18. Over 5. Okay, times 1 half. So, again, numerator to numerator. Denominator to denominator. So, meron tayong 18. And then, meron tayong 10. Okay. So, gawin natin mixed fraction. So, ba tayo pwede mag-divide? Palipat-lipat ako. Sorry. So, meron tayong 18. Okay. Divided by 10. So, syempre, meron lang tayong isa. Then, 10. 
minus 8. So, sagot natin dyan, 1 and 8 over 10. So, kung mapapansin natin, pareho silang uh, even numbers. So, pwede natin silang i-divide by 2. Kung hindi nyo pa kaya mag-divide ng malakihan. So, pwede kayo magsimula muna sa 2. So, ang final answer natin, 1, 8 divided by 2 is 4, and then 10 divided by 2 is 5. So, 4 over 5. So, ito na ang ating final answer. Next, number 3. 27 times 6 and 3 fifth. So, wala tayong isi-simplest form dyan. So, 2-7 times. Okay, so 6 times 5, meron tayong 30. Plus 3, meron tayong 33. Over 5. Okay, so 2 times 33, meron tayong 66. And then, meron tayong 35. Okay, so, let's divide. Divided by 35. So, meron tayong 1. Kasi 35 times 2. Ano na yan? 70. Then, meron tayong 35. 1 times 35. Then, do the subtraction. Meron tayong 1. And then, meron tayong 3. So, final answer. 1 and 31 over... 35. Okay. Next, number 4. 1 and, and 3 over 9 times 7, 8. So, 3 and 9. Okay. Pwede natin siyang gawin simplest form muna. 3 divided by 3 is 1. And 9 divided by 3 is 3. So, 1 and 1 third times 7-8. Then, gawin natin siyang improper fraction. 3 times 1 is 3. Plus 1 is 4. 4 over 3 times 7 over 8. Okay. So, meron tayong 21 Over 24. Oh, sorry. Not 21. 28. Okay. 28 and 24. So, mag-divide tayo ulit. Uh, 28 divided by... 24, so siyempre isa lang yan, 24, 8 minus 4 is 4, so ang sagot, 1 and ilan? 4 over 24. So 4 and 24, uh, pwede natin siyang i-divide by 4. 4 divided by 4 is 1, and 24 divided by 4 is 6. So, ang final answer natin, 1 and 1 over 6. Okay. Last one. Number 5. Okay. 4 and 9 over 11 times 7 over 5. Okay, so, wala tayong magagawang simplest form dito. So, multiply. 11 times 4 is 44 plus 9 is 53. Okay, over 11 times 7 over 5. Okay, so, hindi ko na ipapakita yung pagmumultiply ko dito. So, kayo na lamang bahala na mag-multiply dyan sa inyong mga scratch paper. 
So, 371, 53 times 7, meron tayong 371, okay, over 11 times 5, meron tayong 55. And then, mag-divide tayo. So, 371, okay, divided by 55, Okay, so meron tayong 6. Siyempre, meron yung trial. Dumaan din ako sa trial and error. Kung anong number ang, ang uh, dapat i-multiply para hindi maging over sa 371. So, 55 times 6 is 330. So, minus. Then, meron tayong 41. So, final answer natin, 6 and 41 over 55. And, yan. Yan ang ating final answer, 6 and 41 over 55. Okay, so, ang math, okay, hindi siya reading subject, kailangan mag-practice at mag-practice kayo ng mathematics para maintindihan ninyo ang inyong pinag-aaralan. Okay? Ako po si Conclu TV. Maraming salamat po. At muli, ganun kasimple, ganun kadali. Maraming salamat po.